When mounting an RPS rack, clean the mounting surfaces on the machine, making sure there are no burrs or sharp edges which could interfere with the installation. Using a bearing block with a dial indicator on the mounting surface, slowly guide the bearing block down the rail, making sure it's within one thousandth of an inch. Repeat this step with the dial indicator on the other plane of the mounting surface. Clean all surfaces of the rack which will come into contact with the machine frame. Apply a serviceable thread locker or lock washer to each of the rack's cap screws. Place the rack on the mounting surface, being sure the part number sticker is facing out. Line up the holes and finger tighten all the cap screws. When all screws have been installed, the rack should still be able to move back and forth. Now place the second rack on the mounting surface next to the first. Slide the rack into position with the holes aligned. Finger tighten all the screws of the second rack, leaving wiggle room between the two racks. The purpose of the alignment tool is to ensure the spacing between adjoining racks is the same as the spacing between any two teeth. The alignment tool is fitted with a hole through the long end. One side is threaded and the other is a through hole. The purpose of this hole is to use screws to force the tool into the rack. If this is not available, we recommend forcing the tool into the rack by applying steady and well-directed pressure by hand. Position the alignment tool over the joint and push the tool into the rack teeth. The gap between the two racks should shift into an exact position. While still maintaining the pressure on the alignment tool, fully tighten down one screw on each side of the joint. To help ensure the rack is seated against the shoulder, force the alignment tool into the rack while tightening down the remaining screws. Starting from the end of the rack on which the joint was first established and working toward the opposite end, tighten the screws with 50% of the RPS specified torque. Then repeat with 100% torque. 